Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome. Welcome back. So we've made it through a full week of English 4.0. Welcome to week two, class number six. As always, we're going to start today with a little review of what we saw in the last class, right? And once again, I'm with a special guest. I have a special guest with me today, Isabel. How are you, Isabel? Fine. Hello, everybody. All right. And you were with us last week. So thank you for coming back again. You're welcome. So you, you, you had so much fun last time that you decided to, to come back. To Is come that right? Back. Yes, that's Excellent. right. Well, we're, we're, we're definitely glad to have you. And uh, so we're going to start with a little review. We were looking at, in the last class, we were looking at the verb to take. The verb to take when we're talking about you, he, she, it. So it takes me, it takes him, it takes her. It will take us three or four minutes to review this, probably. It will take us three or four minutes, okay? okay. It, will it will take us yeah, just a few minutes. It won't take too long. How long do you think it will take the, the listeners at home to learn this structure? How long will it take them to learn this structure? Well, it depends on their level, but I think it will take them a few hours. A few hours, yes. But hopefully they've been studying, right? Because our, our, listeners, our listeners take this very seriously, and they study with their student guide at home. Right? So maybe they've already mastered it, and now it's just a little review, and hopefully they're, they're fine with the material, right? I hope so. Right? I hope so, too. Okay. So remember, what you have to remember is the subject here is it. How long will it take me to learn to cook paella? Because I would like to learn. How long will it take me to learn to cook paella, Isabel? It will take you two weeks. Two weeks. So ex explain the process. What do I do? Every day I, I practice a, a paella every day, every day, and after two weeks I can finally do it well? Is that, is that what you're saying? Yes, because it took me more or less two weeks. And now I can cook an incredible paella. Ah, if wonderful. you want to taste it. I <laughs> would love to taste it. I would love to taste it. Excellent. All right. Uh, now, how long did it take you to get here today? It took me 10 minutes to get here today. Okay. How long did it take you to get dressed this morning? Uh, it took me 10 minutes. No, no, less time. Less than 10 minutes? <laughs> yes, uh, five minutes. Okay, all right. How long did it take you to decide to come here? I mean, our, uh, someone from their studio, it, I, I didn't call you directly, but someone from the studio called you. Did you think about it? Did you hesitate? Or did you decide immediately? How, how long did it take you to decide to come here? It took me one second. One second. It. So it was an easy decision? Yes, because as I told you, I was looking forward to ah, coming here. Great, great, great. Well, we were looking forward to having you as well. Now, um, how long did it take us to get ready for this show? How long did it take us, you and I? We sat down... <sighs> We got, we got, we had to get ready. We had to get our energy levels up, right? We had yes. to get ready. It took us five minutes. Five minutes to get ready. Drinking, drinking coffee and Red Bull <laughs> to get water. <laughs> water only. That's right. The healthy, the healthy choice. How long does it take you to make orange juice, Isabel? It takes me three minutes. Three minutes. Approximately. Minutes. 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 It takes three. It takes you three minutes. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a Do you have an orange juice maker at home? Uh, yes, I have one. Okay, okay, and it takes you three minutes. How many oranges do you use in in well to make a glass of orange juice? Two oranges. Two oranges. Okay. Uh, how long did it take you to eat breakfast today? It took me five minutes to eat breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, I had a glass of milk with uh, milk with uh, milk with cereals. Oh, cereal. Cereal. No ah, S. Okay. Cereal. With, yes, that's right. With cereal. Now, did you have cereal with milk or milk with cereal? 
milk with cereal. So the main thing was the milk, and the cereal was secondary? Yes, that's right. Did, did you eat it from a bowl or from a glass? From a bowl. Okay. But was, okay, because I personally, and I think in Spain you do this a bit differently because in North America we all eat a lot of cereal. We put a lot of cereal, not cereals, but a lot of cereal in the bowl and then a little bit of milk. Yes. But you prefer a lot of milk and a little bit of cereal. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. I don't know why, but. <laughs> all right, okay. Everyone has their own style, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so now, now we'll move on in 5.2. We were talking about the verb to take in the sense of how long does it take? Again, this is a little different than the way we practice it on TV, but I'm going to give you the answer to a question, and I'd like you to ask me the question I've answered. You know this exercise, right? Okay. So I say, it took me three weeks to get to know him. And then you ask me the question, Kyle, how long did it take you to meet? I, I don't remember. It to... took me three weeks to get to know him. Uh, how long did it take you to meet to know him? To, to, get, to get, get. Sorry, to get to know him. To get to know him, right. So to get to know somebody, what does that mean, to get to know them? En conocerle. Yeah, but in the, in the sense of really understanding a little bit about their personality. So I, you know, you can meet someone, you know, some, sometimes when you meet a person, you don't really know them right away. You don't get to know them until maybe the third or fourth time you've seen them or you've been with them. And sometimes if, if you move into a new job, you have to get to know your colleagues. And that takes time. Yes. Right? You can know a person, you can meet a person, which is encontrar, for the first time. But maybe you, you never really get to know them until a month later. Right? Yes. Okay. It took us a year and a half to find it. How long did it uh, take you to find them? Well, to find it. To find it? Yeah, it took me a year and a half to find it, right? So at home, you're asking me these questions as, as well, right? En voz alta, en casa, siempre, right, Isabel? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, and how do we say that in English? En voz alta. Uh, aloud. Aloud. Say it aloud. Exactly. Good <laughs> advice. Say it aloud at home. So interesting, I, I said a year and a half. A year and a half. And a half, and a half. We say, we always, the pronunciation there, we always run those sounds together. We don't say and a half. We say and a, a day and a half, a week and a half, two and a half weeks, we can say. Four and a half years, right? Anna, Anna. We, we're, we're, we're pushing the sounds together, right? Okay. okay. So uh, it took... It or it will take her three and a half years to finish the course. How long will it take her to finish the course? Good. It took me four years to finish it. How long did it take you to finish it? Good. How long? Yeah. How long did it take you to finish it? Very good. Very good. It will take us about 18 minutes to finish this show. How long will it take us to finish this show? Perfect. Expression of the day. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that, Isabel? Yes. I It's heard time it. for the expression of the day. That's right. The expression of the day, which is back to back, which is a way of saying consecutive, but too consecutive. So, for example, Real Madrid won the last European championship, right? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Spain, rather. Spain won the last European championship, right? Okay. Right? Well, they did. They did, right? The, the Euro Cup, right? Yes. Now, if they win again, then we can say that Spain has won back-to-back -back okay. championships. So if they win two in a row, two consecutive. That's another expression. Two in a row. In a row. What's a row? A row. A row. Una fila. Una fila. Yeah, exactly. Like when you're looking at Microsoft Excel, you have columns that go down and rows, right? That's Columns right. and rows. So in a row means they're, they're next to each other. They're following in a sequence. Two in a row means two consecutive. Or we can have ten in a row. But when we use the expression back to back, we mean two, two consecutive. Two in a row, two consecutive, back to back. 
So that's our expression of the day, back-to-back. Do you think Spain can win back-to-back European championships in football? Yes, I think Spain can win back-to-back European championship. All right. Championships. Championships. Yes, I I, I hope they do. I certainly hope they do. All right, so there we go. Now it's time to move on uh, to Class 6. Here we are in Class 6.2. Again, at home, you're following along in your student guide, 6.2. Now we're going to try some negative questions again. So we're continuing with the negative questions, but we're doing this. Why? Why are we practicing so much with negative questions, Isabel? Because they are very important. Very important. Absolutely. They're very important. And we have to master them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you have to master them. So, do you do you smoke, Isabel? No, I don't smoke. Okay. Well, my friend, my I have a friend who smokes, and I always tell him that he shouldn't smoke so much. So, what could you say? You if- shouldn't smoke so much. You shouldn't smoke so much. So then, if I if we tr- let's try this drill, ask me why. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I smoke so much? Why shouldn't I smoke so much? And why shouldn't my friend smoke so much? Well, because it's bad for his health, right? Of course. Yeah. Uh, you now you mustn't. You mustn't cause trouble, Isabel. Why mustn't? Uh, why mustn't I cause trouble? Why mustn't I cause trouble? Because if you keep causing trouble, we're going to have to throw you out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. They won't be here. Why won't they be here? Good. She won't ask for help. Why won't she ask for help? Good, good. Now at home, at home, out loud, at home, you mustn't give up. Kyle, why mustn't I give up? Right? Why mustn't right. I give up? You shouldn't quit. Why shouldn't I quit? Good. He wouldn't call her. He? He wouldn't call her. Why wouldn't he call her? Good, good, good. Pronunciation. (laughs) What? (laughs) All right. That's probably my favorite of all the jingles that we have, the pronunciation jingle. That means it's time for me to mention something interesting about pronunciation here, which which, which is this wood, which is a problem for a lot of people to learn to pronounce that. Now, you pronounce it very well. Because think? you've, you've, I can tell you've had some good English teachers over the last year or so, but um, that's true. It, but uh, but uh, a lot of people have problems with this wood wood. So the secret is the secret is you pronounce you can pronounce this w sound the same as you say huevo in in Spanish, right? Huevo huevo wood okay. wood, and it's this wood. yeah again again. Wood. Right. What now? What, what is this table made of, Isabel? This table is made of wood. Wood. Is it good wood or bad wood? It's um, me- good wood. It's good. <laughs> it's good wood. It's good wood. Yes, wood. Wood. So, remember, think of the huevo. Huevo. And we also have to remember that the L in the word wood, the L is silent. We don't say wood, but wood. Wood. So, wouldn't, couldn't, shouldn't. Okay. In all these cases, the L is silent. Okay? Okay. So repeat with me at home. Wouldn't, wouldn't. Muy bien. En voz alta. Couldn't, couldn't, and shouldn't. Isabel? Shouldn't. 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 Didn't. Shouldn't. Okay, but be careful with that D. Your tongue has to stay inside your mouth. Shouldn't. Okay. Didn't. Shouldn't. That's it. Shouldn't. Okay. So a few more. Ask me why. It won't be easy. Why won't it be easy? Good. It couldn't be more fun. Why it? Why couldn't it be more fun? Good. She shouldn't be so loud. Why shouldn't she be so loud? Why shouldn't she be so loud? Be so loud. Very good, very good. My brother shouldn't eat so much bacon. Why your brother... Uh, sorry? Why shouldn't your brother eat so much bacon? Good. He shouldn't drive so fast. Why shouldn't he drive so fast? All right. Well done. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, yes, it is time for the vocabulary 
of the day. So our five words of the day. Isabel, techo. Ceiling. Ceiling, yeah. So we have, we, we, we have ceiling. And then what about when it's uh, outside the building? Roof. Roof. And do you, well, do you say techo for that also in Spanish? For both, you say roof? Yes. Uh, you say uh, both. Because we, we have roof, which is outside, and then inside is the ceiling. So here we have the word roof. Roof. Again? Roof. 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 Very good. Very good. And um, how do you say, okay, in Spanish you say, a traverse a, a hacer algo. If I say, I... To dare. To dare. Nice. To dare. To dare. I dare you to do it. I dare you. Do your friends sometimes dare you to do things? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so we have the verb to dare. I dare you to do it. And then we have the noun, a dare. It is a dare. Well, I did it because it was a dare. When I was in university, a guy that I know dared another guy to eat a liter of mayonnaise. <gasps> Incredible. It's disgusting. It is extremely disgusting. He tried it, but he couldn't do it. He could not complete it. He, he, tr <laughs> he tried it. It was a dare. And he said, I dare you to do it. And in the end, he had to give up. He had to quit. Is but, it like a bet? Yeah, exactly. Well, in this case, it was like a bet. Yeah, there was money. He said, you can do it. No, I can't. He, he, he said, you know, you can't do it. Yes, I can. And, they, and he <laughs> said, well, I dare you to do it. Anyhow, terrible idea. <laughs> Now, uh, considerar. We have considerar. We have a special verb for this. To deem. To yeah, well, that's right. Good to deem because you could say to consider, but to deem, like in court, we say the government deemed him to be unfit for trial. He couldn't go on trial, or he was. They deemed it's like they decided that he was too drunk to be responsible or something like that to deem okay and fallecer unfortunately how do we how do we say to this pass away to pass away yes to pass away okay so yeah we have the, to to pass away which is a good way of saying to die in english we're a bit less direct than you are in spanish we say oh he passed away We don't very often say oh he well we, we can say he died but it's a bit strong whereas i think in spanish you're a bit more direct whereas when it comes to love We are very generous with the word love. I can say, I love, my, uh, I love my grandmother, I love my mother, I love Coca-Cola. We can say that, whereas you wouldn't say that in Spanish, would you? It would sound a bit strange, right? Yes, right? it sounds strange. So when it comes to love, we use it generously in, in English. But, uh, but when it comes to death, we, we always try to find other words, like, oh, he passed away. He's no longer with us. He passed okay. away. Okay. Finally, we have to finish. We're running out of time, but I want to talk about the phrasal verb to count on. Can you can you count on me to be again to be here on the radio tomorrow? Yes, I can. Uh, you can. Can you count uh, on me to be here? Yes, I can count on you to be here tomorrow. Okay. Can the listeners count on the teachers to teach them a good lesson? Yes, the uh, listeners can count on the teachers. To know a good lesson. Yeah, to, to, or to, to offer them, to give them a good lesson, right? To give them a good lesson. So, contar con alguien, right? Okay. To count on. To count, do you, can, you, can you count on your parents? Yes, I can count on my parents yeah. and my friends. Good, good. Yeah, it's good to be able to count on your friends. I can count on my friends. I can count on my parents. Can I count on you to come back someday to be a guest again? Of course. All right, course. good, good. Well, I'm already looking forward to it. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, Isabel. Thank you very much. So it's been, a, it's been a pleasure to have you. And we will be back again for more. Stick around. Keep listening. And we'll see you again tomorrow. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.